I'm Steve Brooks. I'm Jonathan Nunez. And we're from the band Torch. And you're watching an interview under fire. back to Texas. Um, real quick, I know you guys are from Florida. What do you guys think of when you hear the word Texas? Uh, barbecue. <laughs> barbecue, okay. Macaroni and cheese, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if macaroni and cheese is even from... This guy uh, needs to eat. Buttermilk pie. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's pretty good. It's uh, Austin usual. So you guys came, you guys came here... All of here? Oh shit, sorry man. Alright, so you guys were here uh, last time in November 2019. Yeah. Uh, you guys were in Denton, so how was that? Uh, when you guys came? you guys come to Texas often? Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like for a while we were in Austin, so I saw my friends in Austin, I think around 2008 and 9 when I saw my family. Yeah. So Austin's always, you know, kind of like a, a distant home or something. Have some good friends there, but we always have great shows. Um, Houston. Um, yeah, Texas is great. Yeah. Dallas has been good to us too. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many times we've strolled up and down Deep yeah. Ellum. Last time I saw you guys, I mean, I, I try to get you guys when you guys are in town. Um, I mean, as far as like the bands that are actually in the industry, you guys are one of them. We actually do it right. If you guys uh, came with Gojira in 2017. Yeah. I mean. Gojira's great. They're one of the greatest bands ever seen live. But you guys pretty much blew that entire show away because you guys were also doing Code Orange then. At that, at that yeah, moment. yeah, it was the three of us. Yeah. Right. That was one of my favorite shows I've ever been to. You guys were absolutely amazing. Wow, thank you. Uh, so, New Decade, first show of 2020. How did you guys stumble upon this festival as opposed to. Because you guys. This is, a, <laughs> so this is just, like a, this just like a one off. And you yeah, guys are going yeah. on tour after this. So, yeah. where did this come into play? We just, uh, you know, I guess the, if I'm not mistaken, it's the Power Trip guys. Yeah. Uh, this is the festival, and uh, they reached out to our booking agent, and I, mean, oh, I was we, like, fuck yeah. yeah. And then I found out that like Razor and Violets yeah. were playing, and Carcass, and the killer Power lineup. Trip, and I was just like, this whole fucking lineup is great. I mean, the, I mean, you're talking about like putting, your, 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 I mean, yourselves on the map. Bands are like Carcass, you know, Power Trip. Oh yeah. On the scene. It's, I mean, does, does it help get your name out there even more touring with bands like with this caliber? You know, with Def I think it's cool to pl you know play with uh, different types of bands and, and playing what we play. I think it really allows us to be like you know we, we're playing with Sheer Mag or Dragon yeah. Majesty. We've played with you know death metal bands overseas. We've played metal festivals. Where we're like, man, I don't know about this. And then as soon as we start playing, we're like, damn, these people are pumped. And, we're a hybrid type of band. Like, <laughs> we could actually play with like a heavy band. That's a funny with, like, and, like, We're kind of all over the place. Now, having said that, what inspired... I mean, you guys don't really have a genre. I know you, have, you guys get this question a lot. You guys have, you know, there's no specific genre to what you guys play, which is personally what I love, what makes you guys as a unit. Uh, what inspired you guys to actually even start playing this type of music? I'm I mean, just I mean, 2004, you know, coming up on almost technically two decades playing. Yeah, my old band like started. Uh, it kind of was the the skeleton of what this band kind of yeah. became with the sound. And uh, my old band was like into like the Melvins and Butthole Surfers yeah. and stuff like that. And I was into Husker Du and all these all these different types of bands, as well as like classic rock and psychedelic music and. Yeah. I wanted to do something sonic that was also melodic and also crushing, you know, and, and you know, it's bands like, uh, you know, like the Beatles and Guided by Voices with the, the vocal harmonies that kind of inspired me to, to sing uh, with melody, you know, with, with harmonies and, and the, along with just, just riffs, you know, and, and they're just rock, you know, but it's just like, I just, it's just powerful and sonic and loud as fuck. Does this have anything to do with uh, Wrong? Your oh, band uh, our uh, bass player's other yeah. band. Oh, okay, that was, that was right. That's right. The bass that's player. a yeah. That's a different band. Floor, yeah. what you about? I was in a band called Floor. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you guys still get nervous before a show? Is that even a thing? Only if there's like, you know, like, 
things going wrong right before we play or a festival or it's like a clusterfuck before we play or technical difficulties, but generally not really. Looking forward to playing. I I get nervous about, you know, when we do like things where we're not playing on our own gear. Yeah. You're like, oh shit, you know, we don't really get a sound check, so I don't haven't had I don't have anything dialed in. And then when you start playing, you're like, fuck, I don't understand <laughs> what's going on. And uh that's when I start like getting like in my head and I just gotta like forget it and just you know it just sounds the way it is and hopefully it translates and sounds good out there but you know it's that's the only thing that that gives me anxiety because I want to I want to fucking feel it yeah I want to like I want to hear everything clear and feel it but you know when when you don't have your shit dialed in yet and then you go that's the only time I get nervous but I mean like I can have my eyes closed half the time I'm on stage just so I can concentrate on playing and singing. So I don't even realize how many people are in the audience. He goes to his happy place. <laughs> <laughs> so what, as far as like the crowds that you guys have seen, you've talked about you know the reception you guys get from the crowd. Is it, how is this crowd? You guys are getting, uh, getting a crowd from like many different styles of, you know, yeah. just metal and rock all together. I think I mean, you, you could just looking out, like you could see initially like the people in the front are excited. Yeah. Uh, and and you have people that are curious, people that, you know, have been coming to see you for a while and know your stuff, like reacting, you know, uh, a certain type of way that lets you know, like, oh shit, they know our stuff. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's always interesting, and since the set can uh, be so dynamic with all the different, you know, areas that our music covers or whatnot, like, it's cool to see the reaction as we're playing all our different songs, and then towards the end where it gets really heavy. Yeah, it's kind of like people that maybe sometimes are on the fence or just kind of confused. They either get really confused or really excited. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's fun, not, well, it's well, fun to watch. As, as far as that's concerned, I think you guys are achieving your goal then. Because yeah, you guys yeah. don't have a specific genre, which I love it. You guys, it's like confusing the fuck out of me. Yeah, I feel like there's like a, cohesive, it, a cohesiveness you know? like, and continuity, but like, it's not like, you know, here, we're going to play 17 songs live that are the same exact thing, front to back, over and over. It's not that at all, you know? Yeah. We just have nothing to lose. We yeah. just fucking, yeah. like, we're just like, I, I dig this riff, you know, or I dig this thing, and then yeah. we just write from there, and, you know, we can do, like, something that sounds like a sort of disco-y, and then do something that's like swans or something, disco. you know, like, it's like, what? It's like Minions. Like a disco beat, so and we can we can do it because we don't give a fuck. We're just we just make the yeah. best out of as long as it's kind of within our sound. Yeah, we don't go way out, you know, but we do like fuck around with it. So before I get to admission, which is my favorite record you guys have put out, um, what's your favorite part about touring? Because you guys have talked about the crowds that you guys have seen. Like, what, you guys have tour, you guys tour a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's first and foremost, but what, what, what's the favorite part about it? Like, what is it about touring that, you know, makes you want to go back out there and do it? I again? think there's a balance. Once it gets uh, to being a really long trip, you start asking yourself that very question. Mm -hmm. But I would say... <laughs> what do I like about this? Uh, Why am I here? I would say... <laughs> Why do I exist? <laughs> two, two to three weeks is, is cool, you know? And yeah. then after that, you're like, okay, we're a good A good week, two weeks at a time? Yeah. You were, we're still having fun. It's like, yeah. the, the playing is always the best because you're spending all day driving, you know, hopefully you get to have some decent food. If not, you eat shit food and then drive a bunch. And it's like the whole hurry up and wait is definitely what I don't like about the lifestyle. But like, I like equipment and shit like that. So I like setting my shit up, I like getting the sound, getting a sound check where you know, you're like, all right, this is the best we're gonna sound in this room and we're ready for tonight and, and playing and having a great time playing. Those are the best 45 to hour, you know, 45 minutes to hour that we get, at least I get every day, you know? Other than that, it's just a whole bunch of like, kind of almost like lingering. But you go, you try to sightsee, go eat at a, a restaurant that looks cool, check out the city. We got friends in all these cities yeah. too that we get to hang out with and normally we wouldn't be able to like see them. So yeah. that's one of my favorite things is seeing friends and yeah. going yeah. out to do that. Dude, you know, other than playing, you know. Yeah. But everything in between is work. It's like, damn, driving for hours and stuck in a van, and I get leg cramps every once in a while, <laughs> and uh, so it's uh, it's Man. it gets exhausting. But like, like the first week, two weeks, we're having a good time. Yeah. We go home. That's we, the honeymoon. Yeah, 
Yeah. Once you like hit your 30s and 40s, you kind of start to feel it. All right, I gotta take a break. And uh, I think I can't sit for more than maybe two hours at a time in a car. Yeah. yeah I, I guess... just gotta get out and do something. So. Yeah, I'm 45, so I'm like. You look I... nothing like 45, bro. <laughs> I don't know what you're yeah. saying, but I I'll be 46 in a couple of months. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. And I don't feel it. Do you guys do any writing on the road since you guys? Uh... I mean, get ideas, or if someone fucks around with something in soundtrack, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we don't even talk. <laughs> Sometimes it's. Yeah. That's healthy, you know. That's no, it's it's good. To, it's good to get in a room and 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 to like write write together. Yeah. Because like we don't we don't have an acoustic guitar and then. When you oh, get to the video, that would I would love. I'll be like, oh, let me see a second. <laughs> I like that riff better. Then yeah, we can get one of those guitars with a speaker in it oh, with distortion. It sounds yeah. fantastic. Um, no, uh, we, usually when we get to sound check, we have to sound check. We don't have any time to like write or we ever if we noodle a little bit, you know, or they're like, okay, time's up. You gotta like yeah, be courteous to the other bands yeah. too. They get sound check and. So we never really get any time to jam. Sometimes we'll like, but sometimes we played shows and come back and just start jamming on something. I mean, there's been shows where like the vibe is kind of loose. We don't have a cutoff time and like to do like let's say this like a, a really a, 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 you know at the end of a song that lets us like make a bunch of fucking we can jam shit. It kind of like sometimes things have emerged from that. You know. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, the song in Fierno. Yeah. We uh yeah. we played it at we we came back I think. It was at St. Vitus in Brooklyn. Yeah, we came yeah. back and did an encore. Maybe it was Man, the know, second encore. And me and Rick were St. just jamming on it. And St. You St. Vitus has a knack for doing that. They like to bring bands back. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's just a. We kind of do a winter thing with them. I think last year was the first year in, in like at least two or three years that we didn't like fly up and do a February or early March show. Yeah, but we are going to be up there uh, yeah, next month. February. Yeah. Yeah. This is before you guys hit uh, Europe, right? Yeah. 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 And okay. Russia. We're going to Russia. Have you been to Russia? No. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sure there's other places on the on the uh, on the uh, <laughs> on the 37 <laughs> day yeah, long. Yeah, yeah that I've never been to. Did either. you say seven days? Y'all will be in uh, Europe? Or? No, no. Thir like it's like at least 37 shows. My mom oh, wow. likes. Yeah, like uh, I, I didn't even realize we were going to Russia, and yeah. like the band posted all the dates, and she, I was talking to my mom. She's like. I was like, yeah, I'm going on tour, like, you know, and she's like, you're going to Russia, too. I'm like, I am? And then I, I look at it, I was like, oh, shit, this is the first time we're going to Russia. Just break this on the Russian accent, you know? I know. That's how it goes. So the sound of the band, fifth album. John, before we get into that, you talked about the last album, how you weren't, you felt uh, it wasn't, it didn't feel like complete, like we started, like, you didn't like it at first. At I think that was Rick. Was it Rick who said yeah. that? Oh, Rick, yeah, the drummer, yeah. yeah. So he, I think he said that. And uh, I mean, what's your opinion on that? Like, it's. I think every every record is a snapshot of where the band was at that time. So for me, like, yeah, that's that record, and that's what we were writing. That's what we were doing at that time. That's the vibe we were creating or chasing. You know? He said it, it felt he felt the record was put together too fast. It just well, felt I mean, it was written in like it was. twelve to nineteen yeah. days. You know, I mean, oh, wow. it was just like it was like a punk, time crunch. It's you know? a fucking just we just wrote these songs and recorded them so what's know? what what makes that mission different well i wish it was written like people brought songs that they wrote on their own to the table yeah. stuff was written as a group um more stuff than what was actually on the record you know we had an we, not, I want to say an abundance of tracks, but like 17. But we wrote in LA, we wrote in Miami, Gainesville, Florida. We uh, put to, one song that I wrote came together right before the Gojira tour in Grand Junction, Colorado. So there, it was kind of cool, you know, to spread it out. I, I think I lived in like one, two, like three places throughout the writing of it. So okay. was, I was, yeah, we we were know. we were taking a little break too because yeah. we'd gone hard for so long that we just kind of took a break and then took our time with it we didn't we weren't in any rush to put out a record where it was like you know like restarter you know we're, you're on a you're on a coaster you know like yeah. you got to keep keep the you know keep moving you know I mean, you, you guys keep were putting out new records yeah i mean album. i don't uh, think we could have toured any longer on for that record you know what i mean like, it was yeah. just like damn yeah and then as we were writing this one we started to get offers to do other support tours and stuff and that was cool because that was you know playing to different crowds but that's got to be the longest support period that we've ever done like for a record it was just like damn. yeah we're we're already ready to start writing man the next record. Uh, this record <laughs> 
when I first heard it, I mean, I got it the day it came out. I, that was really the record for like my summer. Awesome. Um, the transition you guys have from Times Missing to, uh, I think it's into Admission, it's beautiful. I don't know how you guys like just came up with that. Just like the transition you guys have from song to song, it's one of the best I've ever I've ever heard. And you guys were on the top five records I've seen like uh, last year. There were a lot of records that came out last year. Yeah, I, mean, I like about... I like our records to be kind of like a medley. You know, like there's a beginning and there's an end. There's like when you hear the record, yeah. you know, you know, like if you listen to like Slayer's Man and Blood or something, you know what's coming right next. You know, like you can't see, you can't hear them do, you know, rain of blood into like fucking, what is it? Stop uh, or, you know, Something like rain of, uh, fucking, piece by piece. yeah, piece by piece, <laughs> fucking angel of death into piece by piece, you yeah. yeah. um, you can't, you, 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 you automatically want to hear, it. um, but that's how I want our record to be, like, I, I want to be able to play that, the whole thing. That I know John said, he talked about the flow of the record, how you liked the, like, the sonic experience of it. Yeah, it just... and it's got to be, like Steve was saying, it's got to be a complete experience, both, like, sonically, emotionally, it should, it should take you on a trip, on a journey, not just some, a static, you know, vibe from beginning to end, so. I want to listen to the record from start to finish. Yeah, and, and sometimes not... you can't, like some records you're like, all right, you get two or three songs in and you're like, yeah. ah. then some records are like, damn, I just listened to that whole record that I was only gonna listen to one or two songs from. It just sucks me in and it always sucks me in, so. I mean, I love that, you know. What's it, y'all's favorite uh, song from the record? I, I love all of them. I love all of them. What's my favorite song? I, I know he's thinking. For I don't know. Different I don't know. You know, I have different go. songs you know, have different yeah. feelings. You know, you know, I was really proud of like, uh, um, what's the last song? Changes come. Changes come. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was really proud of that one because, like, before when, when we got into the studio to, to record, Rick didn't like two of the songs, so we had to write two new songs. Like there. What is it with Rick? I feel like he's. No, I mean, he, he, there was you know, another like, song that maybe I. Maybe you guys like, gotta have somebody who's like, okay, we gotta do this better or this better. <laughs> I don't I know. Mean, we're, 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 I think like. I think when we we end we, up thinking about it, we're like, you know, you're you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. You think of like it, it, it starts to become a thing. You know, it becomes something more than just like, oh, these four songs are cool together. Then you get more in depth with like the writing process you're like man you know what this song it's cool but maybe as a b-sider somewhere it doesn't fit the, the record you know what i mean yeah, it doesn't yeah, fit yeah. within the framework of it but i mean there was another one that i think i was just like everyone was like yeah it's cool let's do it i'm like i, I don't like this one now i'm like Shit. <laughs> it was just so, like gosh so we <laughs> wrote like while we were like recording basically we wrote that one was uh, a phone extremes, like, that was like a voice memo i'm like i got this yeah, yeah, because I, I like that riff, and then we played it, and then I I came up with the vocals, and then yeah. the uh, and it's it's something new for us. Extremes of consciousness. That song, that is actually my favorite one off the record. That song we wrote like in a couple of hours. Yeah, we were just like it was it was like a thrashy song at first. It was like yeah. and then we were like no man, this fucking <laughs> but that'll happen. You know, we'll we'll change something like dramatically at the very last second and like damn that's what it I think we work to be the whole we time. sometimes work decent under pressure I, the restarter was under pressure in, fucking under pressure yeah. it's yeah, not just, that bad you know I like you record. guys right now are, just it just tells me how proud you guys are of the mission I mean, it just feels right you know well it's your second uh, record with uh, relapse yeah so how does it feel like to actually have like a consistent label to be with. I don't know the first three. We don't know just... yet. We don't know. Yeah. But we had a couple of labels go under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I mean, I know you guys were with Volcom and you were with Volcom and then Robotic, Hybrid, yeah. Yeah. Robotic. <laughs> like they're all. Wow. Took to the we never asked we took for to money. The no. We never asked for money. We never got money. Either. We never got money either. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, so the thing about this record, I know you guys have like outside interests. Do you guys have any outside? I know you like nature, bro. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Everglades is like one of your favorite places. I love it. You I actually interest. worked it into the admission video too. Really? Yeah. Like uh, it's like mo moving backgrounds and then like light silhouettes and lights bursting through, you know, stuff. The when he was on the on the set, you said on the. No, no, no. Like actual the actual music video. Oh, the actual music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we shot those all. We shot that whole video on. on they're all cell phones. Yeah. What do you do, like on the side? Because we like, we ended up we ended up spending no okay <laughs> we ended up getting a real video made and none of us liked it. 
unfortunately. So we were like, Fuck. so in less than 48 hours, we made our own. We made our own. Video and I think it does the it. song fantastic justice. That's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. I, I mean, I know the other two guys are here. Who's the most serious and who's the funniest? Every it's a revolving cast of emotions and characters. Yeah, well, I mean, well, you did say you don't, you don't, sometimes you guys don't talk to each other on the road. Yeah. Mm. So it's kind of yeah, it's collective. Just, yeah. Everyone, I mean, people have stuff going on. I would, say, I would say Eric's the quietest, definitely. I'm the loudest, probably. <laughs> yeah, Rick is pretty loud. I mean, you are the, you're the vocalist. But when I'm asleep in the band, that's when everybody gets their peace. <laughs> have you guys had a favorite tour you've done so far? I want to say the big business oh, yeah. tour. With Helmsley, yeah. big business. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> um, yeah, because I was with Thrones, too. Yeah. Yeah. That was fantastic. Um, when was this? Boris, the Boris tour was great. I love that one. Part Chimp tour was great. The which one? We did a tour with Part Chimp. Oh, okay. And uh, East Coast. all of our tours have been good. We uh -huh. Most of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, well hmm. any show that wasn't like, eh, let's right. put that on the back. Rather right. not mention. Yeah, yeah, we won't mention like the bad tours, but, oh, okay. uh, but everyone that I'll remember, you know, are, you know, been good. Yeah, hey, the Gojira tour was great too. Yeah. Oh, that was a great show. Yeah, yeah Joe. Dude, they were like, awesome. their stage show is fun. How did, how did that uh, tour, did they approach you or was it They like, approached us. Yeah. And, you know, at first we were like, nah. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't think that, uh, And then they, I think they, they were. You know, there was you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta kind of pick your audience sometimes yeah. because a lot of times, you know, you invest, you go on a tour and it's like, man, this does not translate to this crowd at all. At all. Yeah, at that's all. You gotta kind of. We kind of have to feel the vibe of, like, if it's like a, a band that's really like hot topic. Like you, their shit's all over top topic. That's probably that's not, not going to be our crowd. That's not going to be our crowd. <laughs> but the Gajira stuff was great. They offered. We thought it was like ah, uh, and we were hesitant. We turned it down. A couple and it was times. fucking fantastic. But they came back and they're like, hey, we want you guys. This is the number. And we're like, we're there. <laughs> and we're like, we could afford to not have maybe, you know. We can afford to have like not the greatest merchandise or roll the dice, but we can afford to come home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would y'all do another tour with Gojira again? Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah, I think they're they're working on a record now. All right, um, there you go. All right, two more questions. Let's do it. <laughs> I would say favorite non-metal. I'm just gonna say, what would your favorite artist to collaborate with be? To collaborate. If you ever wanted to collaborate with another artist, like uh, musically, yeah. obviously. Because we've been lucky to work with many artists visually, so um, I don't know. You guys I don't know. Who oh, dude, fuck it, Brian. You know who would who would who would be easy to work with? Though? You want to pick somebody easy? No, no, no. But I don't want to pick somebody that's going to take full control. I want to collaborate. You know, well, so that, just leave it at that. With a it's good, a collaborate. With a good. Okay, I'll collaborate. Okay, so it's just one. Yeah, I'll just leave mine. That's mine. Brian, okay. Brian, you know, I'm good. All right. Fuck, man. Um, what you got, Steve? Who would I like to collaborate with? Oh, dude. Kim Deal. Ooh. Oh. Kim Deal, I would like to collaborate with. Oh, man. Uh, or we can fucking just aim, aim for a total shit show and work with Phil Spector or some crazy uh, motherfucker. Well, he's in jail. Yeah, yeah I mean, no, no. He's, he's not gonna Hey, he can that. FaceTime. <laughs> hey, it's anybody. It's anybody yeah, anytime, yeah, yeah. so that, that counts. If y'all weren't Damn, playing, Sir George. Fuck. If Wendy O. Williams was still alive, I, like wow. I would I would love to work with Wendy O. Williams. Plasmatics. But if she Yeah. And she was a nature, she worked as a at a nature preserve. Oh yeah, she was awesome. She was so sweet. All all the interviews, I yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. love her. I've heard good yeah. things about her. Like, that broke my heart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, what's your last question? I like this question a lot. If y'all weren't playing music, what would y'all be doing? I'd probably be dead. Oh, well. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, oh, well. I don't know. I think I would probably, where I'm at currently, I would probably choose either I would be still recording bands and have I have a meat pedal and amp and company that might have happened but if I wasn't playing music that stuff probably wouldn't have happened because it all came yeah. from playing music 
I would have just probably ended up, I was going to go to school to be a veterinarian, but something, you know, animal orientated or outdoors orientated. I know you love animals. Yeah. You have two dogs. Three now. Three dogs? Yes. What breed? They're all husky mixes. Oh, wow. Well, I so, just adopted a uh, Australian cattle dog. Oh, wow. And a yeah. mix. Good Very God. particular. Yeah, they're super hyper, man. Oh, yeah. Just two months in. You got to burn that energy. Yeah. I love it. Well, uh, I went to school for optometry. You know, I was going to okay. be an optometrist. I so you would might dead. have you been would an help optometrist. People see. Yeah, dude. yeah. <laughs> and I'm fucking blind. <laughs> you can find out yourself. I, I can, yeah, I know. I can even. <laughs> well, like I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. I can yeah. laser this here and whatever. <laughs> like spread them. Right. But you know, I started. I sold all my gear when I went back to school, yeah. and I was like, I'm not going to. You know, this is, um, I, I need to have a job. I need to like have some security in my life. And uh, went like to school that. for a couple of years and then started playing in bands again. And then here I am. Uh, was it 20 years later? Over 20 years later? <laughs> Five albums in, still going. <laughs> hey, but look what I, I would have hey, never man. been able to like see the world. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and now you're going to Russia. Man, we've been, yes. I mean, it's it's been a crazy ride. We've, yeah. we've if we haven't played with, a ton of people were, you know, inspired by. We've definitely met them. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, I haven't. And met it's Paul sometimes McCarty crazy. Yet. You have no idea, like, who actually. Well, I was just waiting for you guys, and you know, Barney from Napalm Death is like, hey, hey. I'm like, oh, shit. what's up, dude? Yeah, you know, they realize you remembered me or something. Wow. You know, that's surreal. Wow. Yeah. That's I mean, it's, and getting compliments from people whose music you grew up on inspired you. You know, it's I mean, pretty wild. When I first, when I just came up and said hey to you, like I've been listening to you guys for like 10 years, just to sit, like you guys are the reason I do what I do. No, I mean, I owe it to myself to know what hurts a musician to get their, you know, their name out there. You know, what what is in their head? How do I get this fucking out of my head? Projected. You guys are an example of that. So, I mean, just even sitting here talking to you guys just to make my point. Already. The new decades after all, amazing stuff. Awesome, man. Glad to hear it. It's, uh, kind of, it's, I feel like 2019 went out kind of quietly. Yeah. I guess and so. then too, the 2020 is off to a hell of a start. Yeah, we are going to be real fucking busy in 2020. Yeah, it's... Yeah. it's but it's a good thing because yeah. uh, uh, an example I like to take is like, for example, like like us, like it, it feeds our energy to know like, you know, a fan appreciates what you, the product you put. Yeah. And then it's, I mean, I, you know, you guys appreciate, you know, what you guys are getting from the fans. It's like a, a two-way street. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the I mean, records. The fans that I saw on there, like, the amount of Torch fans I saw, like, I've seen along your appearance, like, <laughs> that's the most I've seen. That, that, that's a big deal for you guys. Yeah, there I was mean, some full body hit it's, Oh, yeah. It's There's, interesting, because I feel like, you know, with this new record, we brought in, you know, people that are fresh to the band, you know, it's new to them. And yeah. It's interesting times, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. There's a, a friend of mine who's never heard of you guys, um, so I played at Mission when you guys first released it, released it as a single. He goes, this sounds like Coldplay on steroids. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what? Yeah, I mean... And, and, that, and more I listened, I was like, that's very interesting, because I don't know, there's somewhere it, I heard it was, uh, what was the term? Some, there were so many terms for this oh, music. Yeah. I wrote it down here, too. Uh, they keep like we're a band that just keeps on thunder pop. Like, yeah, there's. <laughs> I that. wish I had that oh, cool like, that? money though. <laughs> yeah. God, why did they have to take our sound? <laughs> well, Steve, John, I appreciate hey, you guys so much. Thank Thanks you for having us. Thank you so Thank much you. for that. You guys Thank had you. a killer resting here. Yeah. Thank Thank you. Guys for Thank <laughs> you.